Hey, this week I want a story where we're with the great man, one of my favorite bands, that dog. So, everybody in that dog, say hi. Hi, hi. everybody out there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my first question in regards to your brand new album, um, Retreat from the Sun. And this is your third album on Geffen. So, have you guys noticed this, like a big uh, change in the way Geffen is marketing you guys? Since day one, or when, since when? like this since this new album, just it seems to me that there's been more of a push. Like I went to your website, your website okay. is like massive compared to before when it wasn't. Well, I think they did a big updating on mm -hmm. us, they, you know, because the record's really different from what we used to do. Mm -hmm. I think they're taking a different approach as well. It all went together. And there was also a fateful day when we approached the head of the label with a couple of guns and just said, <laughs> "Pow, you know, <laughs> give it to us." Where's you the know? Make the push. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Make that push. Okay, the first time I saw you guys, it was um, on tour with Beck. Uh -huh. It was at Slim here in San Francisco. Uh -huh. Now, was that because you guys were friends, or did Geffen say, tour together? No, oh. we actually played a lot together during that period, and so we his first tour, he wanted to bring us along, and so we just went for it. That's cool, that's cool. And that was like, was that, do you think that, that was your biggest break? No. No? Probably no. not. Oh, what, what Our biggest break was signing in the first place, probably. Yeah. Signing to Geffen in the first place when we were... Uh, Little puppy band, no pun intended. Because that was your first like full length tour. No full length uh, album. Oh that yeah. Put out before it was just uh, an EP. Is that right? A double seven inch. Yeah. Double seven inch. Okay, cool. Um, now Anna, I I read that you brought something new into the studio this time. You learned how to play piano. Uh huh. Was that just for this record, or um, or did you know that before? No, I'd never really incorporated piano into writing before, so this is the first time. Yeah. And so it. it it influenced, did you, or it influenced your writing in the studio as well as outside, or did you write everything outside before? before? I wrote everything before. Wrote everything before. Yeah. Okay. She has a piano in her house. Yes, I do. She practices. Is that just now, or? or um, I got it about, about a year ago. Or maybe not even. Yeah, about a year ago, probably. And started writing from, from on the piano for a while. Okay. And um, Anna and Petra, can you guys tell me of what happened with the um, with the Mike Watt album, how you guys got on the song Piss Bomb Man. We were all, actually, the three of us sang Oh, really? Yeah, Rachel oh, did okay. too. And Tony played on another song, the cello. The cello. The cello. Mm -hmm. That's cool. We, we just knew we him. We just called us. Yeah, and asked if we could play, play on the record. I need mean, violin. I need Petra, singing. what are you doing? Yeah. Like, are you waiting for her? said, think spin cycle. Spin cycle. So I was like, chicka 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 chicka. <laughs> I think that record was, he just wanted all of his friends on it, so yeah, he called it like, everyone he knew. It was like the Superstars album, everybody yeah. was on it. He was one of our earliest supporters. Yeah. I think he was at our first show. Yeah, he, he came to our to first there. show at the Music Machine. Yeah. In my hands, I was playing bass, and I was so job. nervous, he was standing there on my finger, and I was shaking, and I was going like this. <laughs> okay. Because he would, you know, my my yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is my, totally my dad's side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, Rachel. So the last time I saw you guys, it was on the tour for Totally or Totally Crushed Out, and you weren't there. I wasn't. I, mean, I wasn't. But, and I heard that you just like were totally fed up with music at that time. So what happened? Oh, I wasn't fed up. I was just. I, I told was, people she joined a cult. <laughs> a cult. I kind of did it in my <laughs> own weird cult that shaved my head. It's the cult of personality of living colors. <laughs> 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 I joined the cure. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to find a cure for my. So what brought you back? Um, I mean, I'm glad you're back, because. Well, I I am. Um, what brought me back? I just I, I didn't realize how much of a family Anna and Tony and the just the whole band was such a family, and I just missed I but, missed it. About the actual family. And and, and um, cares. <laughs> you can always help her. Just kidding. And um. And I just, I missed playing live. I missed that feeling of being on stage and staring at the audience and the crowd and, and just the feeling people. and, and all, to all five people. And just the feeling of <laughs> playing and the effect that it gave me. And it, nothing else that I do really makes me feel that way. That's cool. So. That's cool. Plus working at a record show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then can the two of you tell me, like, you're two triplets, mm -hmm. and and your other triplet 
plays Tanya. She, she plays cello and she plays accordion. Cello. And have you three ever been in a band together at all? Um, we play together sometimes. I mean, not enough, but we will. We'll do something together Absolutely. sometime. Yeah. Was there ever a time when you said that dog needs to have three sisters in it? Um, no, we. I don't think we've ever said that dog needs to have three sisters in it. But because it's enough. <laughs> Do <some laughs> Three girls. Three is really enough. Okay. Now I mean, we've talked about it before, just because Tanya, we always invite her to play on songs. But oh. I think that it, it probably just like instrument-wise would get too complicated. And but I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Plus, I mean, <laughs> we've we quite enough and to have Tanya. <laughs> yeah. It'd be oh my god. I wonder what that would be. Like. Nah, 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 give me this, give me that. <laughs> But when she can, she does play with us. And That's cool. It adds a lot. Cool. Uh, okay, it's Tony. <laughs> okay, every time I turn on MTV, look at your face. How do you get in all these videos? And uh, I'm talking about your your appearance in Buddy Holly video. And the no, I'm in that too. You are? Yeah, but you can't see me. It's only her backside. You can see my ass. Uh, oh, was that you? Uh -huh. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. You noticed that ass. <laughs> what else are you in? The new pollution video. Back, you got an REM video. Are you in that too? Uh, a recent one. I'm a driver. Uh, yeah, there's there's Daft Punk is a techno band. I'm in a dog costume, so you can't tell that it's me. But yeah, I don't know. It just happens. Friends. I, uh, I can tell it was you. Friends uh, <laughs> ask me to be in the videos, and I say okay. It's fun. It's fun stuff to do, and I know a lot of people in the video world, so it just happens. Okay. And do you have a thing for dancing in your videos or that, that you're in? Maybe I love to dance, <laughs> and you know, white people never get uh, enough chances <laughs> to dance, and especially you know, in, the, in, in this kind of format, the type of music we play, and it's always exciting to see people dancing down there and playing the drums. I sometimes wish I could just get up and dance, but uh, I have to save it for videos. Um, okay, on that note, you guys just finished your new video. Right? Uh-huh. Okay. And that, when is that going to come out? I don't know. You don't know. Soon. Okay. Actually, I ran into Mark. You did? Yeah. Really? Street. That's yeah. the director. You did? Yeah, and he said, when's the, when's the video coming oh out? Oh, my God. And I didn't know what to tell Well, we don't know. I think it went to MTV last week, and I don't know when they're going to show it or if they're going to. Yeah, there's no telling. Okay. But just watch on YouTube. If we become minutes. a big smash of radio in the next few weeks, you'll see the video. You, you'll get very sick of it. Or you'll see it maybe once if you're lucky. <laughs> or if we're lucky. Okay, your, your first video. Oh, this is your second video, right? No, third. Three. This is your third video. Mm -hmm. And I know one of your visits was Old Timer. What was uh, the other one? He's Kissing Christian. Okay. And that was not the second album. Uh huh. The secret video no one saw. Yes. Yeah, I know. He's Killing Christian. He's Killing Christy. And so <laughs> the, f the first one, Old Timer. Mm -hmm. Why did you guys dress up like Count Down on a Stick? So it looked just incredible. Kind of How, did you it went with the How did you get the rights to do it, or did you just? Well, like there was this there was this hot dog place that we all have when we, where we grew up. Mm -hmm. There was, and so we were all mildly obsessed with it. And I got this idea that we just needed to do it, and then we just followed through with that. It was just kind of silly. And did you actually like seek out to get the rights to use it, or did you just like just? Oh yeah, it? no, they yeah. they. They put us in the uniforms, they told us exactly what we could and could not do, that we were representing their establishment. <laughs> yeah, we very could strict not rules. like I pulled my hair down, you know, it's a rock video. They uh -huh. made me pin it back. You know, they were it was amazing. No it tattoos, was no piercings. Right. Nothing. Yeah, they were very cool about letting us use their place and you know, they, they let us do it for free. They didn't even charge us a fee oh, to play cool. there. It was great. And we were actually working that day. It's so small that the, oh, the yeah. actual people who worked there couldn't fit in there and they were open for business the whole day <laughs> so they taught us how to they, I was actually making the, the hot dogs the corn yeah. dogs as it were and, and he was, was actually the them too mm -hmm. we're at the restaurant I didn't have doing them. it they're so good they're I know. really lean turkey dogs and like fresh know. cornmeal I batter and then I saw that you got to use the yeah. that thing lemonade that was pressure. actually water and ice <laughs> really <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay um your, your tour right now, this is only a one month tour. Is this like a yeah. precursor to like a major tour? Because it's just the West Coast right now? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're going to break it up and do a few weeks here and then a few weeks East Coast and Midwest and just go all over and, you know, just keep going. When, when does the second leg start? We don't end know of, yet. End of May, probably. Yeah, probably yeah. May. And speaking of touring and live, we have an additional guitar player with us who's over there, Kenny. <laughs> do you want to pan around over there? <laughs> 
Kenny? What up, Ken? What up, Ken? This is Kenny. He's our, our additional guitar player. So what you have that to look forward to if you, if, if you people come out and see us play. <laughs> Stage right, holding it down. It's a good addition. Okay, what can we expect from you guys in the future? I know that your new record just came out. Um, Choreography. Really? New fire. No, Bigger know. and better. Yeah. Think Siegfried and Roy, they ain't nothing. Nothing? We just want to go to Vegas. Okay. Are you guys going to play with animals? No. No? Oh. no too dangerous. Oh, okay. Fire's fine, but... No we might dress people up as animals. Okay. Did you ever see Showgirls? <laughs> yeah. Was that you? No. Oh, you yeah. weren't in that video. Okay. I wasn't it was Anna. <laughs> Actually, I'm in the video release of that movie. I wasn't in the theater. Stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, um... Played the ice cube. So my last question is to Petra. And, uh, this is, uh, your solo album. Oh. Imaginary... Land. I mean, I've looked all over for that, and I cannot I find it. Where Imaginary it? album. Well, <laughs> actually, I think, I think they might have sold out of them, because, um... They might be, re I think they are repressing them, so hopefully they'll be in the stores. But wow, that's neat. Well, because I've only heard about it in rumor. Oh. And so it's like, no, it's really out. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Because yeah. I've looked for it and tried to find it, and there's no way. Who put it out? Um, when this label called Win Records, Win Records, it's based in LA, and it's run by a couple friends of mine. So, okay. yeah, imaginary land. Cool. All right. There's a picture of a pink bear on the cover. <laughs> Imaginary bear. All right, I'm gonna look for that. Oh, good. Thanks. I have to have it now. Yeah. But thanks, you guys. Is there anything else you guys want to add at all? No. 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 Are you sure? I'll give you a roll. Hold. No, we spilled enough. We spilled enough. I okay. Go have right. something to Thank the imagination. You. Well, the new record, um, Retreat from the Sun. Buy it.